Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet here again and I'm um, here for a reading for the month of July for all different signs individually and a peek into the next six month period. I just wanted to explain how I was going to do that. For the month of July, I think it was in one of my, I think it was the solstice reading I mentioned, Michelangelo, I was talking about the Vera Sibila and I said, in front of his statue, he said, speak, why don't you speak? Well, I have the um, Michelangelo tarot and um, I'm going to use that for the month of July. Lovely deck, just a lovely deck. You'll see that uh, as, and I'll show you the cards when I read them. And um, then I'll be using, and of course, the Vera Sibila. What well, would life be without them? Upside down, of course. <laughs> now, um, I also have this, I, uh, the way I do a mini uh, tableau, grand tableau, mini grand tableau, with using the Lenormand cards. This is the deck that I'm going to be using. It's called the Fairy Tale Lenormand deck. And this was purchased from a colleague of mine at um, the Secrets of the Universe, sorry, Secrets of the Universe dot shop. And it's a lovely deck. It comes with a beautiful booklet. It's a huge booklet, actually, in a tin. And uh, they're very lovely cards, as you can see, and I'll show you them. How am I going to do that? Well, for those of you who read the Lenormand cards, you know that there's 36 cards, and every position has a number, and every number means something. Every card means something. And when you mix the cards and put them out, it has a specific meaning when it falls on what we call that house. In the, in the uh, mini grand tableau, I cut out a different, um, I, I cut out four by four. So I take the inner circle of the grand tableau where there are uh, uh, houses, houses ranging from the eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 26, 27, 28, 29. This is just for those who read the, that um, deck and just to give you an idea. Now, every house has a meaning, for example, there is a house that speaks of surprises, and then a, a Norman card will be placed on top and it will have a meaning. And of course, there are four by four, and every row in every direction has a, a different meaning for me time-wise. So we'll be talking about obstacles, we'll be talking about decisions to be made, what your public life will be about, your work, your livelihood, endings, beginnings, surprises, and definite endings, uh, communication, home life, nuis nuisances, problems, decisions that are must be made, um, the female influences, male influences, matters of communication, not only communication, and something hidden. More or less, um, this is what we'll be dealing with. And, uh, of course, in the uh, six months. Now, before I go any further, let me finish. <laughs> and just by saying thank you for being here, welcome new subscribers, and thank you to my old subscribers. Let's go into the reading. Hi, Libra. This is your reading for the month of July, and then afterwards I'll... Um, lay the mini grand tableau for you for the six months, the second half of the year, which includes, of course, July. But um, July, this is a little bit more detail for July now. So that's in store for Libra in the month of July. It's in store for Libra in the month of July. Well, uh, you have something in July that is, um, is the end of a burden, all right? This is the first thing that I'm seeing. Well, let, me, let me show you the cards. The first, it's a diamond spread. One, two, three, two, one. This is the Page of Wands. To the left of that is the Hierophant. To the right of that is the Ten of Wands. Then we have the chariot. Our focus in the middle is the eight of cups. 
This has come up three times in that position for other readings as well. It's the third time. The Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the last card is the Six of Pentacles. And, and thank God for that, because we were thinking... I was seeing these two tens, these two fours, uh, the eight here, and of course, the chariot is always an ambiguous card in terms of what is actually moving, what's going on, because it's going fast to go nowhere. You know, there's intention there, but we never quite know where it's leading. So let's take, I'm going to see, you know, I'm leaving the tens there because that is the end of a cycle, and let's not uh, deal with that directly. So the first thing I'm going to go through um, is uh, to go to is this eight of cups okay it has to do with romance of course the fidelity card fide fidelta l'amante the male lover it could be a female and stanza the room which is communication uh, close communication now there is has been and will be in the month of July this sort of stop go stop go communication with a person of your heart it, it, um, it seems to me that the jury's still out, Libra, whether you want to go ahead with this relationship or not. Um, most of you, there are a lot of you, I would say a good 60% of you, who are thinking of leaving that person behind. But then there are the rest of you who really think you should stick close together. So we'll take a look at these fours, but let me first go to the, um, the chariot and see what that tells us. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it is. There's the jury is still out about with that chariot and what it's ha what it's doing. The prison, prigione, mercante, the merchant, and the nemica, the female enemy, could be a male. But here I'm seeing. Um, let's say that this is not a relationship. Okay, let's say it's not a relationship because it's before the central card. All right, let's talk about business. Let's say that this is business. Now I get, however. The, um, the, I see, actually, that if it's a business, it has to do with spirituality because, um, and, and the person who you're partnered with is in the business with you. That's one reading. Another reading is that you don't any longer want to go forward with that business because there is, if you're a male, there's another party. There's a, 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 another component. There's a third party in the equation here. And if you're a female, the same goes for you. There could be another person in the equation. So it seems that, um, I'm going to the fours here because the fours are, would be the most telling um, cards because the, the, the four of swords will be calling on you to delay, to wait. There's a wait before something changes here, even in respect to the chariot because they're mirroring each other. What do we have? Um, lo and behold, and, and it's so interesting because they are mirroring each other. I've got the male enemy, Nemico this time, the Sospiri, the sighing, and Gelosia. Now, there are, it takes two parties to tango. It takes two to tango, and this is, looks like that's what's happening. Both parties are unsure of their relationship and or of their partnership in crime, in business as well. And they're not willing to go f any further. And so this is a waiting game. The month of July is not going to break things down, but it's just going to put them off. Um, and the Four of Pentacles, of course, does talk about uh, work there and holding on to your 50% of the company or some things like that, you know, if you're in business, or your 50% of the house and um, not wanting to change things. I'm going down to the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. The Six of Pentacles, there's the movement, viaggio, uh, the trip. Gran Signore, the, or the, the protector, the great man, or wait, woman, grandam, the bambino of the beginning. Now, when, and I can safely say that this talks about the end of um, July, where both of you decide then to get a move on, to move on, actually. Um, and it is going to be the beginning of moving on from a person who's very dear to your heart, but nonetheless, you see that it's not working out. 
Another reading here is that towards the end of the month, there is another person coming into you who will be the most important uh, person in your life. And I'm seeing 53% of, of uh, Librans out there that this pertains to. So let's see if we can go now, pick this spread up, leave July behind, and start with the six-month period, how the July develops. I'll take the fairy tale, the Norman deck, mix them, and in this deck there are two gentlemen and two ladies. One is a prince and one is a pauper, one is a princess, and one is a, uh, a poor person who's not a princess. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to lay this out in the form, in the um, mini grand tableau um, spread that I have created here. Going to shut the, the sound off. Okay. Now, on the surface of the cards, on the face value of the cards in succession, I'm seeing very clearly that um, there's going to be upstepped mm, social communication. But that uh, being in the public's eye, being in the limelight, will give you uh, difficulties in terms of what you would ultimately like to achieve. Now, it sounds like a, an oxymoron, but here, this is talking about being more private, uh, seeking a communication on a one-to-one -one basis and not on a one-to-many basis in order for you to break through a barrier with a loved one or a future loved one. Especially the male components of the Librans out there have uh, reached a certain maturity in terms of what they feel they want for themselves in, the, in their private life. And um, I have been seeing over and over, oh, I, didn't, I did show you um, the cards, but um, this is, wait, did I show you the cards? I, did I? <laughs> Let me show you the cards. Garden? I don't believe I did. Garden, the mice, bouquet, gentleman, this is the prince, lilies, and the house, the key. The key is in this position. It's come up for three other signs. The key is in the position of being guidance. And I'll we'll get back to that. I'll start from there after I show you the cards. The clover. The anchor, the tower, the letter, the dog, the pauper, this is the gentleman, the, the peasant, the lady, the princess, the snake, and the child. And it's interesting to see the gentleman and uh, the two gentlemen mirroring each other, gentlemen marrying each other, the prince and uh, the peasant. Now I was saying about the um, the king, the, uh, sorry, the key. The key is in the position of guidance, and um, I, I stressed in other readings and the other signs that where it did appear in this position that you're called upon to make a qualitative jump spiritually. And now whatever that means for you, because people who follow my channel and who follow these types of channels generally have a good level of guilt. Good. It's not a, an evaluative level, but you're in the fifth dimension um, with your spirituality already around five, uh, 5 5.0 and or 4.9, 5.1. Usually, generally, there is a massive group of people out there who are of a lower um, a, a level of spirituality who, who, you know, they don't reason in terms of the fifth dimension. So here, those of you who are struggling to make a qualitative jump, this is your time. Definitely this is your time. And if you can heed that advice, and if you can pick up that ball and start running, you'll be surprised how much stability you're going to attract in your life and how much abundance financially you'll be able to attract. There is a situation here that has to do with um, 
I believe that it has to do with the authorities. Okay, I have believe that it has to do with uh, the authorities in some way, and I think it's an obstacle for you to go forward. There, and it can play out this way. For example, it, you could be married, um, but you want to get a divorce. Uh, your companion is very highly uh, um, religious, and she won't, in any case, ever accept that, and that causes you difficulty. Or you are a companioned with a person and they really want to take it to the altar and you do not, or vice versa, and that is going to bring some difficulties for you. Or you have um, a ruling um, that has not gone in your favor that will make it difficult for you. It's evolving around the house in this close circle of family, um, that, that it, and I believe it is a uh, very close circle, I mean the home, and that's going to cause you difficulty. But it's uh, mirroring the key in the guidance position. So uh, again, I can't stress enough how you need to, to up your game spiritually, whatever that may mean for you, because I have no you know, idea of uh, how what your background is spiritually. Um, also, though, the communication is very, very alive the month of um, uh, August, September, October, very, very much alive. And it's going to save you. It's like the saving grace, the communication, because it'll be able to smooth out the rough edges during the second half of the year. You are uh, truly, truly interested in attracting abundance, but more than abundance financially, it's abundance in uh, the sense of stability. You want whatever that could mean for you. Um, earning $50,000 a year is enough for you, okay. I'm not going to go for 100, 200. It's not, you know, I just want stability. This is what, what I'm looking at here. Because our peasant here is in a position where um, he's faced with a different change. There's a sort of um, shift. Whereas for other signs, I saw a transformative nature, a true watershed from uh, June, July onwards, a true watershed, a change, you know, of no return, going back. Here I'm seeing that the development is, uh, is much more quiet, it's much more a f f fuller, a smoother and flowing than in um, other signs. But the issue is that you and another person do not see eye to eye in terms of your values. And this is a crisis, and this is what brings up the crisis. It's not a third party. And even if it is, you get over that. But here, you, you, it's, when I say there's a crisis of values, I mean you go to the supermarket, they want to purchase the highest priced uh, wine. You want to get the cheapest wine, you know, and that just can't be reconciled, you know. Or uh, you, you won something and you were, you know, nominated the best employee in the company and you want to, to celebrate and she wants or he wants takeout, you know, and so, so it's always the, that we'll use that word a bummer at the end of the day. Now that's the sort of crisis that you're encountering, a change of values. You're going to re be revisiting your values and you're going to start shedding some of those things that no longer work for you. That's very clear. The outgoing card is the beginning of a new set of values in which, it, within the context of which you're going to be living then. Now I'm going to take uh, the different domains that I mentioned in the introduction of the readings and start with the endings and beginnings. Um, like I said, and I stressed the importance of the social realm, you'll be moving towards the social, uh, you, you'll be speaking in public, you'll be uh, interacting with more people. Well, this will mark how you close a chapter and how you open a chapter. When this starts, you know that you're leaving something behind for something new. It will be a telltale sign. Now, the surprises. There will be a number of insidious, negative surprises. It could amount to, say, uh, you go out to get the car to go to work and you have two flat tires. Or um, somebody crashes into your car, you have to have some work done. And, and 
all in all, it's not the end of the world, but it takes you out. There's money that's being, you know, spent when you could have done without it. Or you go to the hair, it could be as little, as little, it's never little, but you go to the hairdressers, you color your hair, and they put something in the dye, and it comes out green instead of blonde. You know, so, so things like this, there's going to be some insidious things, nothing that you can't solve soon, all right? But, but uh, there'll be little surprises like that. And then the endings. The endings for you in this period, July, August, and so forth, especially in the first two months, is going to be um, a godsend. You are uh, ready to celebrate endings. You have no problem with cutting cords and cutting relationships that don't work, cutting branches that are uh, seem to be useless for you. Um, also, the communication is quite of a high level in terms of when you start cutting things that no longer, cutting the excess baggage, getting rid of, rid, rid of things, even, it could be even losing weight. Once that you start doing that, there's going to be quite a different take on the communication that you receive. You're going to have so much um, interest in you uh, the, you'll find that people will start smiling and that is almost automatic as soon as you make your decision. Now work and livelihood. Work and livelihood is in a, a moment that's mature. It's uh, you seem to be that causes no problem for you. It is uh, at a good place and you like it. You, you're really not that ambitious in this period of time. It's not the ambition you're after. It's the calm, the relaxed nature, the live and let live and just want to be grounded and stable. That's what you're after. Now the sense of security. You feel at home in your home. You're happy there. You, your house is your security. Your home is your security. And that will remain so throughout the six months. Um, we talked about the key of, and, as being guidance and the importance of making a qualitative jump. But also concerning the home, there's a, um, a very positive element that emerges in the six months as you start caring for your home. For example, you want to do different sidings on the house, you want to redo the roof. You'll be very, very lucky. You'll be getting good uh, estimates, less, lower than you think. There's an element of positive surprise there. And in terms of public life, again, the public life, your public life is mainly going to be based on your work and activity, your livelihood. Um, in, the, uh, how, in the domain of obstacles, I did mention the authorities uh, briefly, but they will be uh, creating uh, obstacles for you, the, the in interaction with authorities or, you know, uh, a series of parking tickets, a series of things that just go wrong. That is going to be um, sort of the watchword during, during the six months. You have to, you know, knowing this, you can guard against that. And um, decisions you make, decisions that you make is all, in, they are always mostly involved with written communication, emails, uh, invitations, everything that has to do with the decisions that you need to make, the cards are counseling you to get that in writing. Even in an email, you can always use that as evidence of what your actions, what they, your actions were um, in terms of decisions and legal decisions. Problems, new, nuisances have to do with, um, it's, a, it's a bit in your mind, uh, people you think are stabbing you in the back, uh, your partner is betraying you, there's jealousy. No, it is the, the problems that you will be feeling in the six months have to do with trustworthiness, how you deem a person trustworthy. So again, you know, these are all uh, suggestions and the cards are counseling you. Keep them in mind so you can remember when you're seeing something of that kind. Um, something hidden, something hidden, and which will, will emerge when you least expect it, is that feeling um, that you no longer want to reach for the stars. You will accept less, but it has to be a less 
that you can adapt to and that you feel comfortable with, especially with regards to a companion. And that's where the issues will um, emerge. There, may, there are a lot of you um, out there that, uh, uh, Librans, that will be uh, going to um, divorce lawyers and getting, you know, cutting uh, ties here in this sense. And it will be based on the fact that uh, simply, simply, different value systems. It's not pointing the finger at, oh, you love, you did this. No, it's different value systems, different policies that you both have uh, in everyday life. Now, the anima, animus and the anima, the animus side, the male side to you, has this sense of not wanting to be anymore. You will greatly, very happily relinquish control for some, for a different, uh, if you, in exchange for greater peace of mind. And the anima, the female influence in your life, feels that it's time for a new beginning. I need to give love a chance. I need to believe my emotions. I need to heed my emotions. My heart is talking to me. That's the time I have to listen. Libra, I hope this was of help for you in um, the six-month period, and have a nice July. Until we read together again, namaste. Bye-bye.